Goniometry can be used to measure joint range of motion. It can also be used to indirectly measure muscle length. This video collection includes techniques to measure both. Range of motion testing is most often used to assess passive joint range. The following principles are demonstrated in each of the videos for joint range of motion techniques. Position the joint in its zero position and stabilize the proximal joint component or bone. Screen for difficulty with active range of motion. Determine and record the end feel at the end of the available passive range of motion. Identify and palpate the bony landmarks. Align the goniometer with bony landmarks while holding the joint at the end of the range. Read the goniometer and record the measurement. Muscle length testing is used most often to assess the length of muscles that cross two or more joints. The following are principles of muscle length testing. Elongate the muscle over all but one joint that the muscle crosses. Stabilize the muscle in that position. The stabilized joint or joints are typically proximal. Elongate the muscle over the remaining joint. Measure the range of motion at that position. The universal goniometer is the instrument most commonly used to measure range of motion. Universal goniometers are available in various sizes. Choose the goniometer that best fits the joint being tested. All universal goniometers have an axis that is placed at the axis of the joint being measured. They have a stationary arm that is placed along the stabilized bone. And they have a moving arm that is placed along the moving bone. Inclinometers are sometimes used to evaluate joints that are not easily measured using a universal goniometer. The CROM device is used specifically for cervical spine range of motion measurements. We hope you find the video series helpful, whether you are a student, clinician, or instructor.